So in today's lesson, we're going to cover, do you have a bias? Does your bias affect your trading? Everyone has a bias. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop a little order in there while we talk. Okay, and that's what today's subject is on tree, three, blah, blah, blah. free trade lesson number nine. Does your mental bias affect your trades? Trades are won and lost in the mind. Trading is more of a game of fear and greed than what you think. No one will tell you this. But I'm going to take you down the cold, chilly streets of leverage and try to enhance your education. Your bias is killing you. It's killing your trades. This is why you cannot win. You are an emotional trader. The entire market is not moved by whales. It's too small compared to NASDAQ or the Dow. Okay, there's no high frequency trading firms that we're competing with on exchanges like Bit7. Okay, and well, trades are won and lost in the mind. A lot of people trade this way. Well, it went up too much, so I'm going to short it. Or it went down too much, so I'm going to go long. That's guest trading. Guest trading. Complete guest trading. So those of us that know how to read a simple six hour with no indicators or anything, like I teach on my channel, I showed you in the previous videos how to set this up. Okay, so it looks like mine. The direction is clearly too long. But most people, I can tell you it happens to me. Okay, there are many times I will short at the bottom, but I almost never long the tops. To me, it doesn't really matter because I make money in either direction constantly. But I, you know, I asked a good friend of mine, I call her my blockchain therapist, one of my admins and close friends. I said, Naomi, why do I always short the bottoms? She says, because you have a bias. You think that Bitcoin is worthless because you watched it go from 19,000 to 16,000 to 3,000 to 10,000 to 14,000 to 7,000 to 19,000. So you have crypto PTSD. So yes, well, I always like to short the bottoms. That's my trading bias. Okay. One of the worst things you could do in trading, the absolute worst is if you're going one direction, and let's say you're going long and it's dumping, dumping, and you decide to take a 30, 40% loss and then go the other direction. That's called the jumping jack flash. That is another major mistake, major mistake. Again, it comes down to you are playing with your emotions. This whole thing is emotionally driven. These are my three trades I did this morning. These were unbiased trades. This one happened to make 11,000. It was 57%. This one, 14,000. It was 35%. Now look, if you can't relate to these numbers, little guys can do this too. Okay? So instead of 14,000, why don't you focus on maybe earning $300 a day? It's an easy start. Now here's where most people go wrong. Look, they look at this one minute. Let's look at this. They look at this one minute chart, okay? They don't know anything about direction. They haven't been trained. They're watching YouTube videos and they were long, right? And they longed at the top emotionally. They were like, oh man, it's gonna keep going. I gotta get in here. And then all of a sudden it starts going against them. They begin to panic, okay? Now at this point, they're losing money. They say, you know what? I made a mistake. You know, I gotta go short. They close that trade at a loss plus fees. Even a 20% loss plus fees is a heavy dollar loss. And they start shorting them, right? And then they just miss the move. And, and it's just like, it's just, this is pure emotional trading. So ask yourself, do you have a bias? Do you really believe or want to believe so much in your heart that Bitcoin is going to go to 100,000 that you must only long? Or do you want to make money no matter what, whether it longs or shorts? 
okay? We make money in both directions constantly. We can even do things on Bit7 that you can't do in other exchanges, like strifing, where we can long and short at the same time. This is an advanced tactic, but let me show you how it works, and I want to get back to the mind. As you know, I show all my trades through my Discord before I finish them, as I finish them, whatever. But I want to teach you a lesson about the mind. This was an example of what I call strifing. Okay. I don't I don't really want you to pay attention to the strifing aspect of going long and short. So I'm only going to show you this part of it. You know what? I'll show you the whole thing. Ideal strifing, okay, is having one up about 60% and the other one down about 60%. You protect both of them with anti-liquidation countermeasures, which I covered in previous videos. Now, we close this one in a win. We made $5,700 in this example. Made $5,700 on this trade. Now you're thinking, well, this trade is a problem. We're down almost the same amount of money. Well, now you're going to learn. One of the most important things, if you're trading on Bit7 at 50x and you're panicking, first of all, you put too much money in. We don't try to get rich on one trade. This is exactly something that I show in my consultation, but this is just a tiny minute part of it, okay? Actually, not even this. I go more into entries and exits. Here is that same trade. Now, remember, let's go back to where we were. We just made... $5,700 and you could see the close in the long in real time okay so we bank that money so we're making money while we're waiting to make money so now we're stuck with this trade now we have more money to protect this trade now can you handle being down 20 30 40 50 60 even 70% if direction is on your side, direction always wins. Okay? This is that same trade. I am going to show you how this trade ended up. Okay, so let's just do the math here. I made $5,712 while I was waiting for my bad short to come in. Now, you could have took that loss out of fear. Or... And remember, at 70%, my ALCM was just about to kick in. When it kicks in, it's like autopilot. Okay, this is why we don't get liquidated on Bit7. I've created this anti-liquidation countermeasure. Now, here's what happens. It's set for about $12 away. At the very, very last minute, out of necessity, it fires off at 1x. Cutting down your leverage here. Remove, removing your cut loss, saving you from liquidation so that you can fight another day. Now, watch this trade. Watch what happens when the ALCM kicks in. Here we are. So the ALCM fired off. I replaced it with another one just in case. My trade size got a little bigger. My leverage got lower. My cut loss got pushed away. And instead of losing, instead of losing 70% out of fear and emotion, I made, let's say, 0.218, 32%. So, I wanted you to learn this lesson not about strifing, but about emotion. Emotional control. So in all of that, where you thought I might lose, this was the strife fight. Okay, it was just another scene of it. This is where I closed the first one. Each one, this is highly professional stuff. Okay, without my consultation, I'm never be able to do this. Each trade is not entered at the same time. They are entered at separate times as separate trades, perfectly entered with precision. And now he's down 70%. And in the end, 
I won both trades and for my efforts made $10,000. I have no bias. Look how interesting this is here. Let's watch my wallet balance. Exactly. 8.80. I need to get a little more profit on this. Bring it down to me. Break that 94 right there. I want 93. Come on. Bring it. Shake it out. Ah, it's going to go back up. Now, really, this isn't enough for me to take profit on. I could, but the fees are really like 7%. So why bother? I will just wait for the next round. Okay? When I'm up about 15, and both of these are entered right, they're very close. Okay? So I'm going to get one of these to be up or down 40, 50%, and the other one, and I'm going to close each one and do it in a particular order and win both of them. I didn't even put ALCMs in yet. I will. Okay. But right now, until one of them's down a lot, I don't have to worry. Shots aren't moving that fast. I'm running at 50x. The absolute best leverage to use. The best leverage to use is 50x. So if I was quicker, I could have closed this uh, my short at around 10%. And now caught this long. But the point of this is not this. The point is one thing. Oh my God, look at all these screens I have open. My computer hates that. And just to show you how I do it, I, this is a one minute trade, 9%, 35%. I take them, I put them here. I put them here where the world can see them. Okay, and I'm not done yet today. And, you know, I've even done trades for the little guy. Was this it? Uh, yeah, look at this. It's about percentages. Not about how much money. That is 0 0.04. That's $76. Imagine if you were the little guy with $76 ain't made 100%. Okay? What a little guy is, he starts growing. Okay? Still going small, another 21%. Okay? Little guy, 0, 0.003, another 42% and closes. This is how you get rich, okay? Little bites, okay? Sure, I go big from time to time, and I have my big days where I make almost six figures, and some days more than six figures. But on the average day, it's pretty much the average salary for an average person working a year. And there are people that are doing this and it's blowing their minds. But you must get your mind set straight. Now it's funny, because right now it's five o'clock, right, 5.06. About a half hour ago, I told them, I don't think 1900 will hold, okay? And we were much higher than 1900. And right now, we are really close to breaking 1900. This is what we call the even number game. Now, or the whole number game, doesn't have to be an even number. If that 19,000 breaks, we have a similar pattern over and over again. That pattern is an immediate dump to like 18, 888, and then a bounce right back over 19,000. And this continues to happen around these whole numbers. Okay? Very, very simple. But the most important thing, so there's going to be a little battle here over 19,000 TA people call this resistance or su actually support, which is just made up tomfoolery. The direction overall is long, but it's beginning to change. It's beginning to change. My goal here is to teach you, okay, not to be emotional. Never, ever trade on your bias. The market does not care about your bias. It don't care if you think it went up too much or you think it went down too much. That is guess trading. That is exactly why 90% of all traders lose money. And they lose money consistently enough to never, ever want to trade again. Every day when I see those liquidation bubbles, I see people giving up on the dream, the opportunity to change their life. 
Now underneath my video is one link. It says one link to everything. Okay. Join my mailing list. Technical analysis people don't like me teaching you this stuff. The truth. Okay. Join my mailing list. I am working. Well, there's trading people and there's passive people. Choose what you like, what you're interested in. I'm not an affiliate marketer. I'm not going to spam you. I am working on the Oracle Manifesto. The Trading Manifesto, which I'm planning on sending out as a free ebook. And you will hear from me from time to time. And for passive people, I'm going to create the Oracle Manifesto for the crypto laptop lifestyle. How I use passive platforms to make somewhere sometimes sixty or seventy thousand dollars per week passively. I will also tell you what I'm getting into first before anybody else. People that have had joined my Discord and my consult, and yes, I'm giving away $35,000. Okay, the link is in the link tree. All right, if you go here, $35,000 giveaway for people not in my Discord and my Discord. It just started. It's going to run till the end of January. Doesn't matter if you're a big guy or a little guy. The prizes are immense. This is sponsored by nobody but me. Not YouTube, not Bit7, nobody. $35,000 in total. This side is the rules for the people on the Discord. And this is for my subscribers. And here's the rules. Everything is below. So, I want you to ponder this question and tell me your thoughts in the comments. Do you have a trading bias? Some people prefer to short. I prefer to short. Okay, but when it's time to long, I long. Okay. Now, you have to ask yourself, do you believe Bitcoin's going to go up no matter what? And so that when it's going you know, down, you're going to go long and get wrecked. Eliminate your mental trading, trading bias. Increase the winning accuracy of your trades. Stop trying to revenge trade. Okay. If you're losing, stop, cool off, take a break, take a breather. You don't have to always be trading. Okay, if you're not having a good day or you don't have clear direction on the six, don't trade. But don't just go long because it's going up a lot. Or go short because it went down a lot by totally guessing. So ask yourself and tell me in the comments, do you have a mental trading bias? Trades are won and lost in the mind. The battleground is the mind. Now remember, I trade like machine. Okay. When I come in, all right, either I go a little few trades or I'll do a lot of trades. Okay, this is strifing. Okay, um, this was an $18,000 day. I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did nine trades on that day. You know, one of the rules of the contest, you gotta do 50 trades a month. Okay, you might think, oh, that's so much. It's 1.66 trades a day. I did this. These are minute trades, two minutes. You don't have time to sit down at the computer for two hours after work and possibly change your life. I mean, anyone can do this. But first, you have to get your mind right. You have to stop listening to TA. You have to cleanse yourself of all the lies. So by the time I air this, I probably would have won another 20 trades. I'll win both of these. It's just a matter of time. And I have ammo and everything else. And, well, you see how I trade, okay? I trade like machine. Be it big, be it small. And the entire goal of trading the one minute, okay? Like what I call velocity trading. Is to be in and out fast, Okay? 13%, 15%, 21%, 22%, 22%, 32%, 67%. Okay, well, everyone else is getting wrecked. Absolutely decimated. Look, 0.25, 67%. So anyone can do this, but you must get rid of the fear. The fear. This double kill lesson is fear. Look, I was down 70%. Can you handle that? 
I wouldn't have took that loss. I knew I had an ALCM, and if I had to, I'd put in another one, which is exactly what I did, just in case, but I won the trade anyway. Everyone, if you like the content, I notice only about 21 of you, 21% of you actually subscribe. If you're not getting notifications, okay, unsubscribe, subscribe again, click the bell that says all notifications. Even better, I have a Twitter link below. You can sign up to my Twitter, see all my trades in real time and never miss a thing. And I'll even upload videos to my Twitter. So, everyone, I hope you found this educational. It's very hard for me to be the calm oracle when I'm in teaching mode. And um, let's win that $35,000, everyone. It's my gift to you. Have a great day and get ready for the next lesson.